Tommy Tellerico Studios. What the hell are you staring at? No doubt many of you may be confused. Yes, I am the same corn fed normally seated behind a desk at the detective agency office. Some of you may remember me for playing second fiddle to Duckman, private detective slash family man. And some of you may remember me for the subtle beauty of my supple calves. I feel that it's my duty to share with regular viewers of the Duckman show. And if you're not, shame on you. Check local television listings and get with the program. You may wonder how I wound up on this war-torn battlefield wading in a septic pool of dysentery bacteria. It's not a pretty story, but there will be plenty of intrigue, action, and young women in embarrassingly small swimwear. Oh, and a bit of head-busting, butt-kicking, super bitchin' violence, if you enjoy that sort of thing. Custom dictates that I start my story at the beginning. Then again, custom dictates that I repress the impulse to tackle anything that wiggles in hot pink. So come with me now. Our story begins here, at the exclusive Abs and Ass Health Spa in Beverly Hills, a place where the rich and famous come to soak in scented waters and be pampered like the phony baloney royalty they are. My friend and partner Duckman had been living here for nearly a month, busy basking in the fame that accompanies starring in a weekly television series. Duckman was so intent on living like the king of big screen that he completely ignored, among other things, his children, his career, and, uh, me, his lovable doe-eyed porcine pal. Oh, rub just a little harder, Tiffany. <laughs> that's right, right there, between the webbing. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, that makes the cock crawl. Julio, my little south-of-the-border friend, my compliments. That martini was drier than a nun's undies. In reality, Mr. Duckman, that was not a martini. It was a sludge and stand your granny up against the wall and Singapore slinger into the back of your pickup and drive her to Long Island iced tea. That, uh, would have been my second guess. Either a martini or what you said. Anywho, I think I'll have another. Oh, Duckman, no thinking aloud. This is Hollywood, remember? Just lay back and dream of a world without butter. <gasps> a world without butter? That's like a juggler without balls. Well, you're a good little suck-up, aren't you, Julio? Remember, fill it to the rim with gin. That's odd. He never has a second glass at home. I always believe in buying American products. Except when watching Baywatch is at stake. When it comes to watching jiggling flesh in high resolution, I say screw the economy! Get the best set you can! Hmm, I wonder why this television is not. Why do they have to mount those televisions up so high? Do they really think people are gonna pile up a bunch of furniture and then climb up and try to steal one? Ah, the sweet and innocent Tiffany. Pure as the driven snow, sweet as sunshine on a field of marigolds, tender as a... Hey, are you talking to me? Because you just paid for a little tub splashing. If you want the free willy special, cough up some cash. Oh, nice talk. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Who do you think taught me the uvula groove? When it comes to describing your beauty, Valencia, words fail me. I used to have a problem with other things failing, but now all I have to do is visualize a Charlie's Angels sandwich, and I get all fancy in my pantsy. Julio, I was uh, just admiring your formidable package. It's huge! Oh, I am flattered, Mr. Duckman. No, no, you little chupacabra. You're sack over by the door. Oh, that. 
That is my bad lunch. Duckman, look at the time. Your television show is on now. So it is. That reminds me. I really should check in with the studio one of these weeks and uh, let them know where I am in case they want to, uh, oh, I don't know, film some new episodes or something silly like that. This just doesn't seem right, does it? The TV isn't on, silly swilly. Uh, exactly what I was thinking. I wonder where the remote control is. Valencia, come here, you wild, untamed, uninhibited, gushing, moist fountain of funky lust. You haven't uttered a peep since I peeped your udders. Tiffany, last night was amazing. I felt like a greased up pig let loose in a giant carnal casserole. <laughs> Sounds wild. Next time you should try it with a partner. Hmm, it's a book of matches. Why, if I weren't having the time of my life floating in the lap of luxury and other people's drippings, I'd walk over and take a closer look at them. Hmm, it's a book of matches. Why, if I weren't having the time of my life... I want the remote control for the television now! Well, why didn't you just say so? Uh, let's see. The Yarn Network, the Menendez Brothers Comedy Hour, Sandy Duncan Retrospective. Ah, here we go. The good old USA Network. Wow, that was pretty great. The new Duckman rescued that whole school bus full of liver diseased orphans from the evil clutches of King Chicken and then found every one of them a donor liver. Not only that, but then the new Duckman checked them all into a charity hospital that he built himself, completely with recycled materials. He is truly extraordinary. After that, he helped me with my homework and then replaced the transmission in an old person's car. It was a Volvo. Whoa! I do what I can, family. There's only one planet, and I feel compelled to make it a better place to live. Curse you, new Duckman. You're unbeatable. I miss the old Duckman. He was a weak simpleton. Now, now, King Chicken. No more of your super villainous sour grapes. Say, Duckman, who's that sexy stack of sticky buns starring on your show? I, I, I have no idea. There's got to be some kind of mistake. Uh, it's getting late, kids. Everyone off to bed now. The new Duckman and I have an old bird that needs stuffing. Who is this joker moving in on my family? Clearly he's insane! He's Frenching Bernice! It's time for you to leave Mr. Former, somebody. This suite is reserved for real celebrities. Replacing me on my own show might just be the studio's way of freeing me up so I can do feature films! I better go to Paramount and get to the bottom of this. Duckman was suffering from a serious case of denial. He couldn't believe that ignoring his career had cost him his television series. It was clearly time for my crime-fighting partner to be on the receiving end of a very rude and slightly painful wake-up call. Let me in, you hairy clump of fudge! Go away! The spa is closed, especially to flabby but husbands like Duckman and John Denver, so shoo shoo shoo! I need to get in there, you international flavor of the month! I forgot my voluminous listing of Hollywood starlets whose maracas I've taken to shaking. If you mean the two telephone numbers scribble on the back of a cocktail napkin from Wing Fast House of Fun, I wet my skinny butt with it. Ha! Keep guffawing, island boy. I have friends in high places, you know. Well, actually, I uh, know a lifeguard who works in one of those really high towers. 
I've had enough of this, you Caribbean cretin. Let me in now, you celebrity wannabe. <laughs> I don't think so, Mr. He, who is a headline from a newspaper printed far too long ago. You should walk your ugly slug body away from here. Well, taking a walk is a pretty good idea, Julio. I think I'll take a walk down to the immigration office and see if there's a finder's fee for turning you in. Uh... Hold on, I'm opening the door. Ha! Faker fraud! The only way you could get here was to trick your way in, Mr. Nobody. Now go away before I get 16th century renaissance on your feathery butt. I'm having a bad day, Julio. Shouldn't you be meeting Paul Simon down by the schoolyard? It's a book of matches, and it's mine! All mine! Those are for guests of the spa only. Listen, fancy pants, do you realize how much I tipped you while I was a guest here? Yes, I do, and I put it in the parking meter this morning. It's the television remote control from the spa. I've always said that I need more control in my life. It's a book of matches. The cover has an ad for mail-order opera lessons. I guess they figure most would-be opera singers are heavy smokers. You can't treat me like this, you bristly Balkan! I'm gonna clear up this whole business with the new Duckman and get my show back! Yeah, right. You and Bunny Franklin are going to be back on top any day now. Look at me. I'm holding my breath. <gasps> you can't treat me like this, you bristly Balkan! I'm gonna... Yeah, right. You... Eh, yeah, most of what's on television these days is a bunch of pablum tripe. Hey, I'm missing this old person! This week, Norm Abrams is replacing some granny's hip with a mitre joint and some spackle. I wonder if there's anything good on the tube. Uh, it's getting late, kids. Everyone off to bed now. The new duck man and I have an old bird that needs stuffing. I can't bear to see that again. Paramount Studios. The people who brought us Laverne and Shirley. Without anyone even asking for it. How will we ever thank them?